<laughs> we've made it to Rome. And we had to lug all of these up some stairs. I'm not even sure if this elevator works now. I mean, it's going up. Maybe it's going to grab it. Okay, well, here's hoping. Thank you, Jesus, here it comes. <laughs> This really is like Lizzie McGuire. We really are getting the whole room. Oh. Lizzie McGuire is pretty. the Piazza Naona. Oh Finally got my limoncello spritz. Mariana got her bellini. This beautiful view of the Piazza Navona. Oh my god, the bruschetta looks so fire. Oh, let's pop the. Oh, it's not gonna pop. Ah, love me some good lemon. Oh. Ooh, grazie. This is basically a pumpkin flan in a gorgonzola sauce. This is gonna be interesting. I will say this mozzarella is a lot harder than the one that we ate. Well, it's a lot juicier. I can assure you of that. Wow. That is so different. So good. Because we're on vacation and we have no rules, um, I'm gonna go for dessert before dinner. Here we go, 100 tiramisu. <laughs> Oh, the like pistachio, pistachio and my mom loves pistachio. So. Oh, that looks so good. Thank well, you so thank much. You. Grazie. Ooh. Kinder tiramisu. So what flavor did you get? I got uh, di sorno amaretto, so it tastes like alcohol. Oh. Try it, let's try it there. So we've already been biting into the tiramisu. 10 out of 10. I'm trying to like do this. The twins, I'm scared I'm gonna drop this. But here's a big old bite with the Kinder Bueno. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm speechless, it's so damn good. And so now we've come to dinner at the TikTok famous Osteria de Fortunata. <laughs> and she's 92. <gasps> Yeah? Yeah. Uh, reading the little story about yeah, the so it's, um It says that their kitchen is genuine. Apparently also part of the story, they have a special like farm with special cows that only produce milk. Like a certain amount of milk. So that's the cheese that they use. Well, obviously made from the milk. And so that's what makes their pasta extra special. Yeah. And the chicken is from Campania. So their eggs are from Campania. Oh, apparently, yeah. They've got my carbonara, gorgonzola. Again, I'm using a cup as a little tripod. Mmm. You gotta try this. Yeah, it's I love that that's how they make it, the check. And then we have to go inside and pay. <laughs> Buongiorno from our balcony in Rome. Um, we are gonna go grab a quick breakfast and then head off to the Vatican. And then who knows what 
where the road will, will lead us next. So, let's go. I already dropped the sugar, but look how cute my cappuccino came with a little heart and then a Nutella croissant. Word to the wise, when you come to the Vatican, find the little tour guides that are walking around with the little lanyards and get them because they will give you a little like fast pass for everything. They, and you come to this, come to this spot. It's 65 euros each, cash only or visa. MasterCard, no American Express. So first on the tour is going to be the museum. Got our little hearing pieces. See how this fits with the with the hoops. I didn't even put this on. Okay. No other way. Other way. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, we can hear the dude. Oh, cute. Okay. That Athena statue is gorgeous. filming in the Sistine Chapel, but it's okay. God forgive us. <laughs> this is just so beautiful. Like, I can't believe I'm here. I feel like this big. <laughs> There's the papal guard. Super cute pants. Ah, caught the last of the bells. So we've stumbled upon this little pizza restaurant. So this is where we come to eat. Ooh, here we go. So this is a like zucchini pizza, and then I'm finally getting to try soupli. Okay, we're using my water bottle as a tripod, and the lighting is just very harsh. So, oh, actually, I want to die to try this first. Soupli, which I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like arancini, but this is the non-spicy version. Mm. You have to try this. Just take a bite. It's like risotto, chunks of mozzarella, marinara. Mm. <laughs> kind of wish I'd gotten the spicy one. Mm. This is a bacon. Okay. My zucchini pizza. 
I love me some good zucchini. We've come to the Parthenon. For the aperitivo. Just truly am drinking my weight in apple spritzes. And I don't care. <laughs> yes, I need to try some pesto. We have come to Tonarello here in Trastevere. And this apparently is the best restaurant in all of Italy and I have that as a source from an Italian friend of mine so we're gonna dig in can't decide the pasta I'm very torn between pesto and carbonara but I'm thinking maybe we just order both and whatever we don't eat we have for breakfast tomorrow morning that's kind of like where I'm at. I mean, I'm there with you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. First day with Ani. And it just spilled all over me. Beautiful. It's okay. Grazie. Perfect. Grazie. Grazie. <laughs> We couldn't decide on a single dish, so obviously we went for both. So we're gonna try the carbonara. Oh, for, where is that guanciale? Okay, here we go. That is the best. <laughs> and they have a food gasm. Not for the pesto. <laughs> this was the Matriciano. <laughs> Is it as spicy as they said? It's not spicy at all. It's oh my god. So it's like a... It's a um, marinara with bacon basically. Yeah, pretty much. The damage. But we're taking this to go. And it's gonna be breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> it's after midnight. We're at the Trevi Fountain. I'm doing the Lizzie McGuire steps. <laughs> and uh, the Trevi Fountain is still packed. But we're gonna do our wishes anyways because we're probably not coming back tomorrow. When you come to Rome, you have to do your coin toss. But we recently heard a TikTok that says if you throw one coin, you come back. Two coins, you find a lover. Three coins, you marry the lover. Six coins it is. <laughs> We're gonna throw them suckers in. From our second full day, well, second official full day in Rome, we booked ourselves a city sightseeing hop on hop out bus today. We figured it was our last full day. It's the best way to go to the rest of the city. So, we're headed out for the day. <laughs> Damn shoes. <laughs> I feel like those, like what Anne Hathaway called in uh, Double Wears Prada, the clackers. Yeah. I feel like a clacker. <laughs> It is hot today. Maybe open-toed shoes wasn't the best idea today. I don't care about the walking, I care about the aesthetically pleasing photos. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, these are the chronicles of uh, traveling with an influencer. Um, she has to stop in the middle to. We edit have her Mariana photos. Cam at the moment. And so I'm taking over the vlog for today. We've also had a little too many Limoncello spritzers, so Mariana Cam for the day. Yeah. We're currently at El Vitorino, and let's just say that the entire place does not do it justice on camera. Like, this shit's massive. Can I curse in this? I bleep it out. Okay. So, sorry about that. Well, I'll give you the rest of the tour later. Andiamo! Andiamo! <laughs> We are flowing in the wind today. Putting on some shaving cream. We're doing some good. It's goozy. You better work. Come girl. <laughs> We're at the Spanish Steps and they are completely covered in bougainvilleas. It's just so beautiful. Are you serious? Did that really just happen? Mariana went to go put on her rings. It fell out of her hands. And down the grid. No, 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 no. Thank God. Who knows where the ring is? The alligators are wearing it now. At least it was one that was a duplicate because if not, I would have cried. <laughs> we did not end up in a restaurant for dinner rather than a whole new old pizza place, so. Yeah, the cream is good, but they got peronis, so it's good enough for me. And souply. They have souply. Mm. Oh, grazie. Sadly, this is the end of our Italian getaway. We are very, very sad, but excited because we are at the airport and we're going to be heading off to Athens. So we've got our last Aperol, Aperol spritzies to go. So cheers. Our final Aperol spritzes in Italy. We'll see you guys in Athens. <laughs>